I forgot to mention that I don't actually have the werewolves pack, so I feel like this would be very much more interesting if I had the werewolves pack and put a werewolf in the mix too, so maybe I should get that pack and do this again, but with werewolves next time. Hi guys, how's it going? So today's video is a little bit different, we're kind of stepping away from the vampires let's play just for one video because i had an idea a lot of people have done this but i never really seen it with an occult family so someone probably has done this but i decided to leave my game on for a whole sim week in a household of just occult sims so i'm gonna get into the game and i'll show you the sims whilst it's loading this is your hydration checkpoint so go get yourself a drink if you don't have one already and then come back and enjoy the video because we need to keep hydrated i have coffee because it's morning at the moment okay so we're back into the game and i already have an attractiveness alert i have wonderful whims installed and mc command center so that'll be interesting to see and i can already see that our vampire is feeling a bit hungry i realized that vampires don't autonomously bite people i don't know if that's a setting i can do in mc command center actually but yeah vampires don't autonomously bite people unless they have this unless they're like really really hungry that's it so here is our vampire i got all these off the gallery simply because i couldn't but make it any <laughs> but here's our vampire our mermaid is feeling fine actually and uh yeah she's the one who's been attracted to actually our vampire interesting so then we have the alien who's just a bit hungry and likes the fire our spellcaster who's Need in the toilet. I think they're going to the toilet. Oh, they're missing out on dreams. Okay. They're feeling playful, but also they really like their spark. <laughs> what? I never had that before. They really like their sparkly outfit. Okay. And then I have a ghost, and you can play as a ghost in The Sims, so that's why I put this in the family because I was like, I'm only going to use a cult Sims that you can actually play as without cheats or anything you can play as a ghost all you gotta do is when you see a ghost or a sim has passed away you can add them to your family again by asking them and they are they have a sore back uh they're hungry and i never understood ghosts in the sims to be fair because why are they hungry and needing the toilet like that don't make sense to me they're dead <laughs> anyway we're going to look through the notifications okay so we're gonna scroll all the way down oh my goodness there's so many keep going okay so the first one we got was <laughs> the attractiveness alert okay actually let's have a look at your relationships so you know bob which i'm guessing is from welcome wagon okay so our ghosty who is agatha is only friends with the alien funnily enough then we have i thought you might have like romance with robin but you don't uh you are friends with everyone but the ghost actually okay and then spellcaster is only friends with the vampire and the alien alien really doesn't like robin oh oh robin's evil okay that's probably why and then our mermaid is only friends with the person that they actually find attractive so there you go. I thought we were having like wonderful whims, there might have been some romance, but there isn't. Okay, so let's have a look. I can't, the alien, I can't pronounce the name. <laughs> Always felt confident in his belief in the supernatural. Something about that last ghost sighting unnerved him. Seeing is believing and now they can't get the thought out of their head that ghosts could be everywhere always watching always ready to jump out and scare him at any moment so he must have got scared by I go see. I've got a cooking skill. Oh, but then he got a sentiment with the ghost, which is quite nice. I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. That's cute. Fitness skill. A lot of skills. Um. Oh, yeah. They 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 would have gone on their periods, and I didn't give them any pads or anything. So um, that's on me. Sorry about that. Oh no. Then the alien had a nightmare. I'm guessing about the ghosts. 
They're all getting the dance skill because I'm guessing they all just decided to dance. Then we had the welcome wagon, which I'm guessing you didn't go and actually talk to. There were a lot of skills, cooking skills. We have the mischief skill as well um, by the ghost. Um, hey, what do you think you are doing? And then, oh, okay, so I think the vampire must have bitten Robin because obviously they got hungry. Um, being a plasma connoisseur, I have a special appreciation for that extraordinary you drink that satisfies every craving. They really liked that plasma. Okay, they like mermaid plasma, apparently. <laughs> More dancing. Oh my god, stop dancing, guys. Why are you all dancing? Oh, then Megan got scared by the ghost, too. Even though they would have just seen the ghost, they've been interacting. Why are they getting scared now? Surely they would get scared as soon as they see the ghost? That doesn't make sense. And then... Ash Belcaster did too. Uh, the TV season premiere apparently was awful. I'm guessing no one watched it. And then we're getting some skills. Oh, so in fact, I wonder if they must have been repairing some of the stuff, uh, which is good, repairing things. And then Megan got a fear. <laughs> it's almost as if someone is controlling her life. I wasn't controlling you at all. I gave you complete autonomy. Alistair got the same thing. I wasn't doing anything. Oh, they got the gourmet cooking skill, okay. Auslander identified the Wally, apparently, by talking to <laughs> Megan. Oh, she, <laughs> she bit Robin again. She really likes Robin. And then Robin got an attractiveness alert again for Megan. Okay. But nothing happened. And then Auslander apparently was going to get the period what can they have children i get to earned money from investing oh yeah because i got these off the gallery so they would have had their own they would have maybe had reward traits and they had different skills and stuff so that's why level eight cooking well done this is from wonderful whims the personality types so alistair show sign of the jester personality type apparently megan had a job okay as a writer <laughs> didn't know um i'm guessing they were repairing things again cool robin then got scared by the ghost why are they all getting scared of the ghost like after they've been talking to her don't make sense then robin had a nightmare after that okay <laughs> and then some more repairing is going on Oh god, Robin had another nightmare. Maybe Robin's just kind of like, I'm scared of the vampire that keeps biting me. We even have a ghost in here. What is going on? Someone's on the road to fame. What? Who? Is it Megan? Oh, Auslander got another sentiment with Agatha. I really value the time we spend together. I think it may it's made us closer than ever. I guess you're not scared anymore. And then... Auslander apparently has the hero personality type. Cool, cool. Alistair had a eureka moment because they're a genius. <laughs> More upgrading. Agatha got the cook gourmet cooking skill. More dancing. More repairing, I'm guessing. And then we had a social bunny, which none of them did. It's fine. More skill cooking skill. I mean, obviously, they're all going to get cooking skill because they all have to cook. And then Megan apparently has the jester personality type too. Then the bills came and none of them would have paid the bills. Robin acquired the mischief skill. And then more... I'm going to guess the ghost keeps breaking the plumbing and stuff. Um, and that's why everything is breaking. <laughs> Apparently he's getting a lifestyle. Uh, then Juice Community received the most votes. Yeah, I, I do feel like the ghost is just <laughs> breaking stuff. Comedy skill. Uh, Robin identified another fish man he got to level nine of the cooking skill okay and then it's almost robin's birthday too apparently and then we got another alert but why did nothing happen between you two then why are you like oh my god they're absolutely incredibly attractive but nothing happened but yeah why did nothing happen that's annoying i wanted something to happen especially considering you find them so attractive like, if I go here, extremely attractive. So why? Why wouldn't you do anything? Why wouldn't you do anything? How do you find... I mean, I'm guessing you don't find them extremely attractive. Oh. <laughs> that might be why. <laughs> Megan finds her basic looking. I'm sorry, Robin. That's, that's probably why. 
nothing happened and they're also irritated due to their PMS. Well there you go guys, that's what happens when you leave five occult sims hanging around by themselves for a whole sim week. I kind of wish more had happened, like, I don't know, I kind of wish like, nobody like was like, oh, so and so is an alien. Also like, I know that Alistair being a spellcaster, he didn't do any magic or anything. Why not? Did he know spells? I don't actually know if he actually does know spells. I maybe should have checked that. How do you open the spell book? Oh, right. Yeah, that's probably why he doesn't know any spells. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Maybe I should have given him some spells. I mean, the ghost was clearly scaring people. The vampire bit people. But, like, our little alien didn't do any alien stuff either. Like, read people's minds and that kind of thing. And... I don't think mermaids can do much, to be fair. Yeah, mermaids are kind of, um, mermaids could use some work, to be honest. But there you go, guys. That's what happens when you leave five occult sims to fend for themselves. Not much. I feel like this is very similar with other sims. Like, not much happens. Um, they just kind of fill their needs and that's about it. Um, even when I have like autonomous woohoos on, autonomous like proposals, try for a baby, everything on and I have wonderful whims with this system, still not really happens. So yeah, that's about it really. That's that's the video. <laughs> if you want me to do more tests like this, let me know in the comments below what you want me to do in regards to these kind of tests and little experiments. I am intrigued by the vampire though, who, you know, gets this irresistible like thirst and just has to bite people uncontrollably. I find that funny. I don't know if I would, if I gave a spellcaster a load of spells, would they have done more? So maybe I can try that. I don't know, have a few spellcasters in a house leave them to it, give them all spells and see what happens there. Also like a cauldron and everything. But that's the video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. If you've watched this all the way through, thank you so much. Again, watching a video all the way through also helps out channels because it shows that videos are good basically to the algorithm and therefore they get shown to more people and subscribe if you like sims content because that is what i do on this channel that's it though for now so i'll see you in another video bye